Hey there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you the basics of using the Paths tool. I already have a blank white image that I'm working with. Let's go over here and select the Paths tool. Okay, now I'm going to start by placing four points on our canvas. One, two, three, four. Each of these points is called an anchor. So I have four anchors here and there are lines in between each of them. If you make a mistake you can go to edit, undo anchor, or press the undo key combination. Let's go ahead and click on that and you can see that it has taken away my last anchor. Also you can move these anchors simply by clicking on the one you want and repositioning it to the place that you want it to be at. If I click on the canvas again, the Paths tool will try to continue the line from the last anchor I have selected. If the last anchor I selected already has two lines extending from it, then the Paths tool will create a new line from the new anchors I create. In the Tool Options, you can see that the Paths tool has three edit modes. Design, Edit, and Move. As you're using the Paths tool, you can temporarily switch modes by pressing the corresponding hotkeys. Pressing Control will put me into Edit Mode, and pressing the Alt key will put me into Move Mode. When I let go, it automatically goes back to Design Mode. I'm going to choose Edit Mode now. By holding the Shift key and clicking with the mouse, you can delete anchors. Using move mode you can move all of the anchors together. Now I've already shown you in design mode that you can move a single anchor to a different position. But what if I want to move three of these four anchors? You can do that in design mode by pressing shift while you click on each anchor. Then after you have the three anchors selected, just click and drag them to wherever you want. Now what if you want a closed shape? You can create a line between these last two anchors in edit mode. First let's select the anchor we want to be the end point. Go into edit mode. Now just simply select the starting anchor. When you're in editing mode you can also create new anchors in between anchors on a line. Just select any place on the line that you want to insert them. Now you can see two square boxes that have also appeared on the line. These are called handles and every anchor has two handles associated with it. You can make the lines between anchors curved in different ways using these handles. Just click and drag them to where you want them. When you're in edit mode, clicking and dragging on an anchor will show its handles. In the Paths tool options we also have Polygonal. By selecting this, it will prevent the Paths tool from accidentally creating rounded lines. This is good for if you want to create a path with only perfectly straight lines. When you uncheck the polygonal box, you will then be able to curve the lines again. One last and very often used option of the Paths tool is to create a selection from the path. By clicking this button, it automatically creates a selection from the path or paths that you have. Here you can see the marching ant selection on both my paths. I can now choose the bucket tool, fill color red, and fill the selections I created using the paths tool. With these you can do all the things that you'd normally do with these selections, cut, copy, and paste them into another image, or do some editing on these areas alone. And that's the basics of using the paths tool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.